everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Ferret Business, Red here. And as you can see, I was in the middle of doing some things, and I'll explain what I was doing in a second. Um, so yeah, there's been some things, I tried to <laughs> record a video a while ago, um, a couple days ago, actually today's Friday, so a day ago, to put out today. Or put out on Friday, excuse me. Not today, but put out on Friday. But OBS did not want to work with me, so my 50-minute video, well, I'll just deal with that later, went to being a 5-minute and then an 8-minute, so I was missing out on things. So I'll head back home, but before I do that, I'm working on flattening this area out here to extend out the quarry system. As you can see, the quarry has been upgraded and moved. This was one of the things I talked about in my last episode. And there's a sinkhole here for some strange ass reason. Why is there a sinkhole here? Hmm. Anyways, there's a sinkhole there. And a chunk error there as well. <laughs> so this thing is working out here slowly. It's pulling off all power off of this now because the nuclear station was just pretty much shite. Because I wasn't getting in enough Eulorium for it. And I also moved my bed out here because I was working out here. So Let's head on home. We're going to the factory. And uh, I'll show you what I did here. Let the chunk load in. Apologies for the lag. This is what happens when you're, you know, a thousand blocks away. So I actually made a little uh, chest here. I was going to, I talked about this, and people were talking, well, the, the whole new um, system for getting money is kind of hard because you have to take a thousand stack and whatnot. Well, if you take, get these contracts, which they drop from mobs, you open them up, you get a cheap contract, a good contract, a decent contract, and a amazing contract. Well, I turned it into an amazing contract, it ended up giving me, like, it's a lot of stuff. Let's see. And I did that in the last episode, but that got, you know corrupted for some strange reason. It's like I'm not even hitting my start and stop keys either. So that's just the weird thing. So we'll go into large scale orders. So I recommend doing large scale orders over doing the other stuff. I did amazing contracts so it gives me 64 bags of coins plus 16 bags of coins plus 25 tra silver trader chits. The cool thing about this is each one of these bags is worth 50 and each one of these trader chits can up level you up to a bigger trader chit which also gives you a lot of um, reputation and money. So right now I'm sitting on I believe a obs ooh, that obsidian. Let's go back, back. It's in I believe supply and demand. I am sitting on yeah, I'm either sitting on an I'm sitting on an obsidian chit. I don't have endurium yet or manilium. I'm just gonna wait till I get to awakening the draconium chit. Because it's just it's not that hard to get from that. It's two of these, gets one of these, two of these, it's one of these, one of these, one of these. So these are the ones I was talking about. A thousand RFC. A thousand RFC gives you one coin. But if you do a large scale order, you get even a cheap one, that's 15 coins. So it's a lot cheaper to do these to get 15 coins and two stone trader chips. And they range from anywhere from uh, this one wants 20 blocks of diamonds, 20 blocks of, 30 blocks of amber, and 30 blocks of emerald. I don't have that much stuff. Di uh, emeralds mostly. And then cheap contract is like. 15 mana steel ingots, 15 thomian nuggets, 15 mana steel ingots, and 15 thomian ingots. All very easy to get if you're into mana and thomcraft. I'm not, at the moment, too much. But there's other means and methods. So what was I doing? I completed the factory. As you can see here, there's a little dark patch over there, which is annoying the fuck out of me. But I also created the uh, bottling plant. I created the... Um, assembler has no power to it at the moment and also created the crusher got an achievement for the crusher didn't have it on camera because the video decided to stop hopefully this one does not do that i will be irate if it does and i really can't tab out to check because i weren't on one monitor also showed you my factory as well and i've upgraded put it in storage and there is a power line running down here now because there will be two generators to run a uh, biodiesel. I'm gonna get that running. And let's see what's in here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here, but most of this is just backfill because this thing was running hot because of the power system. When it runs hot, it backslogs quickly. 
So let me clear this out of stuff that can just go right back through the system. That cannot though at the moment because I haven't broken that down. The rest of the stuff is just meh. So what I'll just do is wait, plow that in, pile that in, pile that in, pile that in. Because there are spaces for this, it just got backlogged. When it's like running this many, or probably up to here, it doesn't go sort out properly. So it shouldn't come back in here. And nothing came back in here. Good. So I have to keep tabs on that from time to time. That does happen. Because I am using piping and it doesn't always sup it out. But now since I moved it and I got off the nuclear power, it's got me o over a stack and 35 of eulorium. But that's not enough to run that nuclear power plant at the moment. The other thing I did was I put in a gear caster. And that's also automated. And I moved the... Um, the... Um, machinery back towards the wall where I wanted it to be anyways. So, and the cool thing is if I, I don't mind the cabling as the factory, but that one in the center, I might, you know, cover up. So I can just use the painter, Ender ISO painter. So I got like Ender here, and I have th um, thermal expansion over here, and then I got mechanism over here. I'm not going to put anything over the lights because it's just, well, they dim out the area. i got a slime, king slime nearby, I really don't want to kill him not wait worth my time but to finish out this episode and actually have something to complete I am going to complete the reactors downstairs I was working on these heavy engineering blocks which are very expensive to do and oh also I killed some of those uh, I was in the end getting more ender pearls to make the wiring I ended up killing an ender girl uh, one of the creatures from Galma or Gala. I can now spawn them with that card. Really don't want to do that because they really are a pain in the ass. And I'm also still smelting um, steel because I need more steel. So you can put steel blocks in here if you didn't know. The slag, I gotta figure a way to output that damn slag because it just it gets to a point where you have a stack and you can't put anything in it. I want to go downstairs and I want to grab my engineering manual. The cool thing about the engineering manual, it does tell you all the recipes. So the machines upstairs, you didn't get me to see me make them, but they're in this manual. You can find them there. I do apologize for that. I didn't want that to happen one bit, but there's nothing I could have done about it. So we're going to work on the biodiesel generators, and we'll go from there. So I'm going to need... I'm not going to need that. I'm going to need a pickaxe. I'm going to need the heavy engineering blocks. I'm going to need this. I don't think I need light engineering blocks. God, I hope not. Get rid of that. Move this over. Put the book back in my inventory. Nope. I don't think I need heavy. Nope. Okay. All heavy. Sweet. So I want to put one here. Here. Okay. So put one. Start one here. So we go radiator blocks first. We'll go one, two, three. And then we'll do it's a heavy. How many heavy is it? Three. Three. Okay. And then three again. So one, two, three. And then. And it's just like that. Cool. So I'll fill this in, because that's what needs to be filled in there. And it'll go up a level. And you can play this, and it'll go up and stuff like that. And it'll also show you the finished component later on, but I really don't want to do that. So we'll just repeat the process. So this is all you have to do. So up, up, up. And then... Do, 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 and do, do, do. This is the end of the generator blocks for this one. There is more... There's more radiator blocks than there is generator blocks. And then more heavy machinery cap that out. I believe this is the last floor. It is. It's all good. I just need to central radiator with a hammer. Okay, I'll do that at the end. So come over here and I'll put it right here maybe. No, here. No, no, no. Right here, right here. Because I don't want it anywhere near the openings there. Don't openings. I could put storage in there I guess or something else. I really don't need to. I'm going to put it like this. We'll do this. Go up three. Uh oh. Do I not have enough? Ooh. I thought I had enough. That's not good. Wait a minute. Um. I do. I just messed up the rest of the thing. <laughs> that's why. I think that's kind of weird. So we'll just worry about that later. I'll just go here. Three. It wants this. There we go. And then 
pets done. Finish this off. These are very expensive. It's uh, steel, a lot of steel, a lot of freaking copper, and not really a lot of copper, but steel, copper, and uh, electron ingots, which isn't that bad. But it is something though. So I believe if I go like that, bam. Bad for the environment. Well, you know what? What do I care? I'm an industrialist. So I'll come back here later. I'll run pipe to it, power pipes to it. And then I'll run um, probably those uh, thermal, not the thermal expansion, the uh, ender chest, the ender tanks when I s work on them upstairs of the biodiesel and refinery, out of the refinery. So let's see, what can I do to end this off? Let me take a look at the clock. We got four minutes. Okay. I'm going to make. I'm just going to stop the timer. I know. I want to do one of these recipes upstairs. Probably the mediocre good stuff. Because I don't have enough diamond and emerald and stuff like that. It would be emerald, is what I'm short on, because I'm not mining out a. Uh, let's see. Five emeralds, five ambers. No. Gold ingots, silver ingots, shiny. Yep. Okay. So. The kind of shitty thing is you can't hover over it or right click on it to actually see what it is. So, better to keep it in your inventory unless you got like a monkey brain. However, there is a little item in here from Bibliocraft called a clipboard. If you really wanted to, have a clipboard set up for these and just go good, decent, and go from there. But I really don't want to do that because it's typing out and I just don't want to do that. So, I'm going to need 10 gold, 10 silver. Okay. And then 10 silver. The reason why I'm kind of mad that you guys didn't see the other video, because I took so much time having to smelt things down. Okay, my inventory in a second. There we go. And one shiny ingot. Okay, one shiny block. And that is all I'm going to need. Let's kind of loop. Well, should have done it this way. And then, there we go. All right. I hope these are our ingots right. Yep, okay, cool. So the way this works is you go upstairs, whoop, and you go over to your uh, ferret business mega packager. You'll get this when you complete, like, we're already the first quest. Put this in the corner. You don't have to put it in the corner, you just put it in there. You do silver, and, and then you do the 10 gold. It's got to be in, can't, I don't think it'd be in stacks. And then the one shiny ingot, and then fulfilled contract order, you take that out, everything disappears, it becomes in this. So it virtually like acts like those other ones that you had to, you used before this update. And then you go back here, you select the good bulk order, or the decent bulk order, select task, manual submit, claim reward. And you'll get paid. You can also use the uh, mass supply system, if you really wanted to use this. It's 10 coins, you get one. I don't think I have any of those. I might. I don't want to buy them right, quite right yet, because it's really no use. It just like if you make like a bulk order of these, then you're good. I'm actually missing one, ain't I? No, I'm not. Oh, I did decent. Ah. Oh, that's why, because I had these in back or backwards. All right, cool. So decent and good. Yeah, the decents are better. Okay. So if I open up these bags, gives me. 50 coins. And then I'll just take these stone chits, turn them into copper chits, turn the copper into silver, I believe those are. No, iron. And then bronze. And that's that. So I believe it's night time out. Yes, it is. The only bet I have is back at the corp. So I'll head up here. And then we'll go upstairs. So yeah, I'm slowly doing this. I was thinking, how would I end a series? Mainly because the um, the quests are great, but with the new updates that come and go, come and go, what are those freaking guy? Oh god, I hope those aren't what I think those are. Up, oh, please, up, oh, please. Is that what I think that is? Oh, okay. Whew. I heard just the robots. I thought those were... There's a mod pack out there that's got upgraded Endermen. 
to like Enderman with freaking um, oh baby zombie. Piss off! I need to upgrade that back jetpack so it's got an armor plate to it. I mean, I kind of want to, and I I should for when I'm using the jetpack, but I just don't like the jetpacks all that much. I prefer flying in like bat form or something like that, but. It's just me. I wasn't really fond of jetpacks, even in IC2. That's how old I am comparative to this thing. I remember when IC2 was, I think, first came out. I could be wrong. I think it was out before I played it. But it was, I'm not sure if it's a 1. I think it was like a 1.2 update mod. Hmm. But I need to. I think what I'm going to do is end this episode out. Or not this episode, the series as a whole flatten this out and conduct the buildings that I want to put in. Like, I need to put in a bank. You know, I need to do other things. I might do the quests as well. The reason why I'm kind of hesitant on the quests is some they're not completed. Some they are um, completed but might be broken because of new updates, stuff of that nature. I actually came out to my headquarters because I wanted to put the stuff up in the these safes, not just walk around here and just go herp a derp, derp a derp a derp. So yeah, I think that's what, how I'm going to end it. Maybe is complete all the buildings, and I mean fill the buildings, furnish them, not just you know, like the headquarters. There's nothing to it really. You know, the factory is being fleshed out better than everything else. But I think that's what I want to do, and I still have to do the conning, the cooling towers for the nuclear power plant. So there's like no way of me being completely done. One of those. Turn those into steel trade jets. Do this. Turn that into a copper. Copper into s iron. Iron into bronze. Bronze. Turn the steel into silver. And that will just sit there. So, yeah, the highest I have is obsidian right now. I'm just going to sit on them. And I'll put the coins up. But I've out of that I still have that many bags left over from that one super good tr uh contract. And most of them got turned into shop builders. I had sixty four plus like thirteen. I have one, two, three, four, five stacks of sixty four plus fifteen. I've been using I used up a lot of my wooden exchange tokens because I've had a shit ton of them. These things I'm not even I'm not even to worry about those shipping crates. Those things have become completely null and void for me. And unless, um, you know, Kagan comes around and fixes, you know, redoes them, which I highly doubt because this is the whole point of this in my pack. Because he added those new uh, large um, contract things. I'll just go for the large contract. I'll probably run out of them, but I'll have a shit ton of coins and dollars and stuff like that from what I've already gotten. And, because I'm not really too worried about it. I'm not really buying anything out of the store. I should buy stuff out of the store because it gives me, you know, discounts and stuff like that. But, I, what do I do? Buy diamonds? Give, give me give me diamonds for 10 vouchers. That's not a bad, though. I don't know how many is in a, a, a thing. Okay, you know what? I want to see how much is in a diamond. It's probably one diamond. So, you're probably buying a diamond for $10. Which is 10 coins. Each dollar equals a, a coin coins so let's take out of here and I also have these you know creature stuff and stuff of that nature so whatever. select tasks uh, I want the diamond manual submit give me the diamond give me my reward and I got one loyalty point from the shop we'll open this up boop I got a diamond ore oh, okay that's not bad because I could break that down and have a chance of getting anywhere between one and seven diamonds with luck enchantment. You can get more if you put more enchant luck on your tool. Yeah, you can actually do that. I've actually dicked around with, just because I was bored. If you take an enchantment, like a pickaxe, and then go into, um, if you have uh, any eye, and you have it open, I, I believe I have it enabled. Yeah, the enchantment thing, you just stick something in there, enchant it, you can go up to like level 10 enchant, and I've done level 10, um, pickaxes, you know, when there was, a, you know, Tinker's Construct in this game, so it's like, yeah, you start breaking things down with that thing, you're 
doing stupid, but that's just me dicking around on, you know, private, non-YouTube video world type things. So I was like, I want diamonds. Hit that once. 20 diamonds. Okay. So he kind of gets overdone. But technically I could do that with this man, with my lucky manual and pickaxe, the cobalt one. Just add more fortune to it. And just build up the fortune. I think there's a modifier on it, in fact, too. Yep. So I could just sit there and put lapis in there all day long and probably just boss it out. I don't know if I really want to do that or not. Maybe for diamonds, maybe for emeralds. I mean, I'm not using... For redstone, I don't use my pickaxe. I use the pulverizer because it gives me... Um, uh, what is it called? It's somewhere, uh, cinnabar, which you can use to get better, more ingots out of drops, and also you can turn that into... Um, Cinnabar, or you can turn it into little Cinnabar drops for uh, Thumbcraft. Um, but maybe for, like, the emeralds and diamonds, I might have a pickaxe for that. Just call it the greedy money pickaxe that just sits in the bank. Because, yeah, I don't really need diamonds coming out of my ass. I mean, I do need diamonds coming out of my ass, but I don't use it for coal. Coal I put through the sag mill because I want the dust and the, the one chance of getting a diamond. But I've put like five or six stacks through and I've got 1%. It's like less than 1% chance for the diamond, so I've gotten it. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope this video went through properly. I hope you guys be nice. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Um, hmm. I'm going to finish the squeezers off on my own. And probably the react, probably the refinery. Because it's also expensive. <laughs> that the fire is just blah. But maybe we'll do the refinery and then we'll do the furnace on camera. I don't think I have any quests. Nope, just one unclaimed quest is that one. I might do the reputation thing. I mean, because, hey, who doesn't want to be a chief duking officer? Duke, duke. The sound that uh, ferrets allegedly make is duke. So, you know, I wouldn't mind being a chief duking officer. The, lo the lo loyalty points are easy to come by. You just trade in one of those um, legendary chits and you're like golden. Uh, not, is it the trader? One of the two. It's either trader or it's... Um, let's see. Cause I'm talking on my ass. But there's so many mods here. So many quests that can be done. But you can see there's a lot of whip quests still. The 30. The 30 still whip. So I don't know if I really want to do them. But, uh, let's see, supply and demand, I believe it is. So this gives you 1,024 trader rank. So it's the trader rank. So, down here. So I'll be past the booker, right here. So shop loyalty is what I should actually be getting into, because that's where you get those little chits that give you more dollars, I believe, if you when you turn in the coins. So, I'll have to see what I should buy. Um, it gives me shop loyalty points. Armament shop. Armament shop is actually what I want to do, because I want to get these green hearts. Because this is the only way you can get green hearts in this game, this mod pack, period. And Thinker's Construct to green hearts is like, unless they drop, and I'm pointing at the computer screen, you can see my red hearts down there. Each heart container that you make, so you start off with the red ones, it gives you that health on top of what you have. So I believe it's 20 hearts to start off with, it adds another 20, that's 40. Another 20 on top of that is 60. And another 20 on top of that is 100. Or 80. Excuse me, 80. And then there's also armor and freaking Thomcraft that adds like all the way up to four, four hearts, four and a half hearts worth of protection. Yeah, it gets ridiculous. So you could be a tank sitting around in diamond armor all day, every day. Which is like shit now. I should just take it off remake more but I hope you guys enjoyed also also I totally forgot and this is very important because I did the ender boss fight if you guys want to do the ender dragon fight and you want to keep the experience that you gained if you're on solo bring a uh, extra utilities barrel one of these let's see there's one around the corner here right here one of these these extra utility barrels and a XP drain which is just a nine pieces of uh, iron fencing. Bring that with you. Kill the dragon, collect all the XP, put it in the drum, 
then leave because the glitch that's in here, I believe it's a glitch, the bug, is still enabled until I think 1.8, maybe 1.9. That gets rid of that where you can go into end, kill the dragon, and then leave, and then you keep your XP. It's not like that in this. So yeah, if you want to keep that 71 XP to use, which I kind of wanted to do because it was 70 freaking XP, you do it that way. So do it that way. Also, with the Ender in the Ender expansion thing, and you get that heart, um, you can redo the dragon fight over and over again. So you can do it that way too, guys. But remember, bring that barrel with you because you'll lose it anyways. Because once you put in that barrel, and you just put the barrel in your inventory. You're fine because your inventory stays with you. It's just it's a die thing. So so what happens is you die, and then it's like oh you have seventy, you have four. So it's like I had seventy one. Now I have four. Thank you, game. That's fucking appreciated. But that's the end of that. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Bye.